and welcome to Grace Hollow. Welcome to the new channel. Uh, if you're from my old channel, uh, I'm happy to have you. Um, please get a hold of your friends and let them know where I moved to. Now, uh, with all that said, uh, the babies are now five weeks old. Uh, so let's go and get that update from the nest box. Alrighty, first up, and uh, I'm afraid um, it's a bit late in the day, but uh, here is Mina, and she still has eight of her babies. If you shall remember, she kindled 11. Two were peanuts that we lost uh, pretty quickly, and then just uh, a couple weeks ago, we had one that uh, broke its leg, and I think it got trampled, and so we lost that one, and we are down to eight good and healthy active bunch of babies <laughs> and these guys were sired by I want to say Ogden I hope I'm right I think Ogden and is next their daddy up we have Daisy and her bunch uh, she kindled five and she still has five uh, she's got the two blue uh, she's got the broken black and the two black and she also fostered two babies She's got this red baby that was orphaned by Madison. And then she has this little tort baby here uh, who was also orphaned by Madison. And these guys, like I said, are five weeks old and uh, they're getting pretty active. They're eating me out of house and home. Yeah, they're eating a lot. <laughs> but they're looking pretty good. And then here we have possum grape and possum grape. Uh, she kindled four. She has this blue, the broken blue, and the broken black. And she did have a black. Uh, and the black one we lost last week. Uh, just failure to thrive. And then she also has two fosters. She has foster raised these two reds who were also orphaned by Madison. And she, um, you know, this is the first litter she raised the first time she's orphaned and she's just done a marvelous job i'm just so pleased with her all right and then we have nelly my broken blue doe and nelly candled nine she has five blue uh, then she had three broken black and one black did she have a broken blue i don't remember i don't think so uh, anyway, she she lost one of her the black one that she had. She lost. Um, I don't even remember now what happened. But anyway, she still has eight of the nine, and she's doing a wonderful job with them. She's had two other litters with me, and both times uh, she had six and raised six. So this is the first time she's lost a kit, and of course it's a bit much bigger litter as well. All right, and next up we have, is this Memphis? I believe so. We have Memphis, and she kindled uh, seven red kits. And, you know, we still have seven red kits. And these fellas, I think um, they appear to be the darkest litter uh, I've seen at this age. Now, I've had some dark ones, but... Boy, these are really dark at such a young age. I, I'm really excited to see these guys grow up. All right, and then last but not least, we have Fate, who's all stretched out across the front of her cage. And Fate only ha kindled two kits. Uh, she's got two red kits, uh, this one right here, on that one right there, who I believe was sired by... I believe they were sired by Mars. And then she's got three fosters, uh, three, these three broken right here. Uh, this one climbing all over her. Isn't that just a cute little booger? <laughs> and then these two uh, heavy broken back here in the back. Uh, they are fosters from Madison. Madison had eight little kids, and uh, she... Uh, passed away while I was gone over the weekend at a show in Illinois. And when I got home, she had eight kits that were 
uh, very thin and wrinkly. They were only a few days old, uh, three or four days old maybe. And I thought for sure I would lose the entire litter. And I really didn't have uh, anyone I could foster them to. Um, this is Fate, and she was, you know, this is the first time she's had a litter for me. Uh, she only had two kits. I had initially planned to orphan her two kits off and rebreeding her, but after we lost Madison, I had eight kits that needed mamas. So I gave three of the brokens here to her. And then I gave two to Daisy, and I gave two to uh, um, Possum Grape. Possum Grape, this is, you know, the first time she's raised a litter. She's never fostered before. And uh, Daisy has raised litters before. But she is such a grumpy old mom. Uh, you know, I was hesitant to give her any because I, I wouldn't, didn't know if she would accept something new in her nest box. But I did. And so here we are, you know, five weeks later, and all eight of Madison's kits are still with us and growing and thriving and doing very all well. Right, and then we have, um, I believe this is Missy, and Midis Missy kindled seven. These are mini racks. Uh, she's got uh, four harlequins down in here, and one, let me, there's one harlequin in here that, uh, where is it? Right? Nope, that's not it. it. Must be this one. Right there it is. Oh, it's down. Let me see. Look at the face if it would turn up. Its face is split right down. There it is. Right down the middle. Well, there it was. Uh, just a cute booger. And then she's got these two Ch Charlie tries. And one, I hope, is a doe. Uh, this try right here has a lot of orange and looks a lot like mom uh, I hope that one turns out really nice but these that's it for the five week olds so there we have it fellas um, what do we've got eight litters of five week olds uh, they're all growing up nicely and doing well and it won't be too much longer we'll be weaning uh, that's coming up uh, well so it should be coming up next week However, I am a little um, low on cage space right now, and none of the moms are rebred, so I may just let them stay with mom for a little bit longer. Uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, God bless.